Okay, just to give you an update on this garden bed. I ended up taking out every other line and then I just plugged in, plugged up the line that I'm not using. And that's working out just fine for getting water to uh, every single plant. And since I did that, I that gave me a couple five uh, lines that I can use over here. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this bed over, but that's not the purpose of this video. So I'm going to do that off camera. But uh, today's video is going to be about staking up these tomatoes. They're starting to uh, grow quite a bit. So I'm going to build three string trellises that I can use to stake up uh, these three rows of tomatoes. And uh, let me get uh, this switched over to PVC and then we'll start on those trellises. gluing this up I just slipped my PVC into this valve and it just split right open so I've uh, doused it with glue we'll see if it uh, glues but uh, I don't know I might have just uh, wasted not only that a valve but also this uh, corner man well we'll see if it works all right I got this hooked up Everything is mounted and attached here, and um, I already had these lines drilled, so I matched them up best I could um, to try to make sure that each plant had some water coming to it. I uh, don't know about this cracked valve here, but I'm going to go turn on and we'll see if, it, uh, if that's going to fail or if that glue is able to hold it together. So let's go check that out. Well, looks like that's failing. Which I kind of knew it was. Looks like the, the lines at least are going to work. So I'm happy with that, but I'm going to have to replace that, uh, replace that gate, no, with that valve. There we go. I think that's going to do a pretty good job. Oh man, I got to fix this valve or this ball valve before I can uh, move on to the trellis so let me run to the store and uh, see if I can't swap that out all right guys I've been all over town and uh, everyone is out of stock on three-quarter inch PVC ball valves I went to true value ace and Lowe's all three of them, the shelves are just completely empty of three quarter inch and one inch. And uh, the next closest uh, store is a couple towns away and I've already blown most of today. So looks like I'm going to have a leaky valve here for a little while until somebody gets something in stock or I order it online. So let's uh, build a trellis. First thing that I want to do is move this right over the top of my tomato plants and then I've marked you know each side and that's what I need to cut out so what I need to do right now is mark my depth So I'm going to slide this in there and mark it and then I'll know how deep to go. And then I'm going to cut that out with my jigsaw. So let me get to that.
All right, I'm just building this trellis out of two by threes. Um, it's not really supporting any weight, so it doesn't need to be any sturdier than that. And on the end here, I've cut a 22 and a half degree um, angle on that, just so that uh, very minimal amount would be touching the ground, if at all. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get that installed. All right, so I've cut this uh, notch out of my uh, cedar overhang so that I can fit my two by three in there. And then I've got uh, this uh, square clamped to the top plate so uh, I have something to go off. And then this should slip right in here. Go right up against my square so that I know that I'm square, or plumb in this case. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach those. All right, first one's up. It goes uh, eight feet up, so that'll be about uh, six feet um, above the tomato plants. Um, these, every one of the tomato plants that I have are indeterminate, which means they're vine growers, and they can grow anywhere from six to eight feet high. So I didn't want to cut uh, any off of the top of, uh, of my trellis. So um, I've got five more to do, so let me get to those. All right, I got all six of my trellis studs up. And uh, I don't know how plumb they are, but they're plumb or perpendicular or to, the, uh, to the bed anyway. Mounted them right up against the square. So if the bed's level, then these are plumb, but uh, they look fine to me. So now what I need to do is uh, get the top plates and I need to drill some holes through those, drop some eye bolts, and I'm gonna use that for, for, my, uh, for my tomato strings. So let me go get that going and uh, be right back. Okay, so I've got the top plate lane across the tomatoes and that way I can mark uh, the center point where I need to drop my eye bolts. So I'm going to go about right here. And about right here. And I'll go ahead and mark these other two and then we'll get those drilled out. So I've got a flat washer on my eye bolt, so I'm just going to slip that up through here and then attach it. Unfortunately, I uh, couldn't get any shorter. It was uh, slim picking. but that'll be okay. And these are uh, 
all stainless steel so shouldn't have any issues so it's gonna look something like that and I'll pull that up a little bit higher and then I'm gonna run my uh, string it's actually more like uh, more like paracord I wanted to have something like this that's soft um, but this is what I got 3 16 by 50 foot and I uh, picked this up for uh, four dollars at uh, Lowe's so this should be plenty um, but I'm gonna suspend that down to my tomatoes and then let the tomatoes just grow right up that string all right you can see here that uh, those tomatoes are not exactly in the same place and that is why I numbered each of these boards so I made sure and put them in the right place so um, now what I need to do is attach these as the top plate and then I'll run my string from the eye bolt down to each of the plants okay I've got uh, my eye bolts in and I've got my string attached I measured it out so that I'd have plenty um, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my studs and uh, then I'll be able to tie up the tomato plants. So let's get to that. All right, I'm ready to tie my string onto my plant. But before I do that, I need to prune uh, my tomato plant. I've got all these uh, suckers growing in here between the, these branches, but also I need, I have too many branches. So I'm gonna prune these up quite a bit. And you do that so that uh, it'll increase your, uh, your fruit output. So let me go ahead and do that. Now it seems like that's way too much to prune, but it's actually not. That's right where you want it. And uh, there's still plenty of growth on top. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this, and then uh, we'll wrap it around the, the tomato plant a couple times. And just, just tie it at the base, and it doesn't have to be really tight. Just enough to keep it there. Probably should give myself a little bit longer, a little bit longer piece, so that I can double tie it. There. That's all you want to do. And I'll go ahead and do that for uh, each of my plants and uh, it'll just uh, continue to grow up that's about six and a half feet so I should have plenty of room uh, for this tomato plant to grow all right it just so happens that the length of the bed is just the right length for these strings and this is the last uh, piece after doing the other five so this is the sixth one and I've got about six inches left over so that 50 foot was perfect so I'll just leave that there and cut it off after I tie it so let me put this last one up and then we'll call this one good okay I'm all done over there but first um, I just wanted to bring this up I hear that you can take some of these cutoffs from these uh, tomatoes and just push them into the ground and they'll actually root out and grow. So uh, I'm gonna give that a shot. I've never done it before. What do I have to lose? Put this right in front of a, a water hole. And I'll plant this one over on the other side. So 
let's see where we've got a hole water hole right there so I'll put one right here so uh I'll keep you guys updated see if these uh, root out and actually take I might put a bunch of onions here and uh, looks like most of them I got a couple that have come in but most of them um, just died so thought I'd throw a couple of tomatoes in there so we'll see if they uh, if they actually take I'll put another trellis up all right I'm not sure if you can tell on camera but I'm uh, starting to lose light looks like we might have a storm brewing over behind the mountains there's a shot of the half moon but uh, there we go there's my trellis really simple just uh, build a little arbor with some eye bolts drop some uh, some pear cord something you know nice and soft tie it at the base loosely because um, you want to give the base room to grow and uh, wrap it around the plant and uh, it'll grow right up that string. Super easy. So there we go. That's it for this week. I sure wish I could have uh, replaced that ball valve, but uh, I'll just have to put up with it leaking until I can get one, get a hold of one. But I think that's going to do it for this week, guys. So talk to you later.